One of the biggest achievements I've been wishing for in tech is in batteries, but maybe I've been asking for the wrong thing. Maybe instead of amazing batteries, we need incredible chargers. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Melt. Wireless tech is awesome, isn't it? Not having to worry about a cord dragging down your mouse or tripping over things. Also, lag when it comes to wireless mice and other gaming peripherals has drastically been reduced over the years. But there's still one major issue that dashes any hopes we have for a future without cords. Dead batteries. While hardware manufacturers have done a fantastic job of making things faster, more efficient, and all around better, consumer batteries haven't seen too much improvement since the lithium-ion batteries of the 90s. Or at least, not enough to surpass the power draw certain wireless devices pull. Improvements have been made, of course, but I've still been in the middle of a match on Xbox and needed to frantically run and grab batteries or plug in a cord because my controller died, and my phone still can't go a full day without needing a charge. Companies have tried to help the problem with things like quick charging to give you juice faster, more efficient chips, or power saving modes in devices such as smartphones that help ensure you keep your charge as long as possible. Unfortunately, none of them actually solve the problem. You still have to plug things up eventually, and while efficiency and power saving modes help, they merely delay the inevitable. But what if I told you you'll never have to worry about a dead battery again? Given you aren't in the middle of nowhere, that is. Well, that just might be a reality before long, thanks to wireless charging. No, not this kind. I'm talking about actually being able to use your phone while it's wirelessly charging. But how? Well, believe it or not, there's a couple companies up for the challenge. The first is a company called Pi, and it's interesting because it works with current QI tech already in most phones. The issue is that while it doesn't require direct contact, the charging device has to be really close. What's more exciting, I think, is a company I've been watching for a good while now called Energis. Their goal is to bring wireless charging to more than one device at a time at up to 15 feet away. It's called WattUp and it works by finding your device using Bluetooth and charging it with RF fields similar to your Wi-Fi router. Think of it. All you need is a wireless transmitter in your car, maybe a couple well-positioned ones in your house, and say, one in your office if that's your work setting. You won't have to think about your battery ever again, because it will always be charging. And this has more implications than you might think. Take your smartphone, for example. You may not know that one of the biggest space hogs inside your favorite gadget is its battery. And I mean by a large margin. If we have phones that are pretty consistently charging, we could take a good portion of that out, which gives manufacturers a ton more room for other things, like audio jacks. Now, I, I kid. That's probably never coming back. And with this new wireless world, it wouldn't need to. So when is this seemingly too good to be true world coming? Well, I have some good news and some bad. Energis has had an undisclosed partner for quite some time now that's supposed to be one of the world's top consumer electronics companies. Many had hoped it would be Apple, but upon the release of their iPhone 10 and its non watt up charging, those hopes seemed to be dashed as Energis stock fell by quite a bit. Luckily, the first wave of watt up powered products have been announced. Not so luckily, it's one of those along the way type of product launches, with the first batch only able to charge up with a regular pad. With that said, they plan on eventually releasing transmitters that work up to 15 feet and work with their current receivers. One interesting thing about the watt-up receivers is that they're far smaller than wireless chargers that use a coil-based system. They're basically a sticker, which is impressive in its own right. There hasn't been a release date on their first products yet, and unless hardware manufacturers incorporate the receivers into their products, it'll never take off. But regardless, this type of tech certainly seems to be the start of an incredible future without wires. So while that does it for today, what do you think? Excited for truly wireless tech or just want a battery that lasts more than two days on a smartwatch? Let me know down in the comments below. And for hardware lovers everywhere, make sure to check out the GamerML Discord server, where you can talk all things hardware and gaming with fellow tech lovers. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.